Larise West from LariseWest.com and I'm with my dad, John Napperstuck, who's here. He's 85 years old and this is a portrait of him his brother did when he was in high school. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you. My dad was a musician and has some lots of experience and has maybe some words of wisdom that you can share with the singers and musicians who are on the mailing list. Tell them about the musical experiences you had, the different organizations you were in. Well, uh, my trumpet teacher uh, for a few years actually lived uh, across the tracks and up a half a block or so. And he actually was a trombonist. But he had quite a few trumpet players uh, studying with him. His name was Chimel. He was a Bohemian. And uh, while I'm playing things he wants me to play, his wife was knocking on the, on the window. He had the studio in the basement. Uh -huh. Open the window and hand him a bowl. And it was a bowl, a big bowl. It was nothing but salad in there. <laughs> He'd crunch your way out of that stuff. While you were playing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is in Chicago. No, Oak Park. In Oak Park, Chicago, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Right. And then... And that was for the, when you were practicing for the symphony? The... No. I, I was still in grammar school then. Oh, okay. And he wrote a note for the high school band director that he should put me in the first band immediately. And uh, didn't do much good. He said, we got to start you in the second band. But before the, that semester was over, I was switched to the first band. Now, just to fast forward, just to let them know what you've done. You were, so you were in the Drama Bugle Corps when you were in grade school. You were in the band in high school, but you were also playing with the Chicago Symphony or the Oak Park Symphony? Oak Park Symphony. Oak Park Symphony. Not the Chicago Symphony. Okay. And then... I wasn't paid. Oak Park Symphony didn't pay the players. Oh, okay. And then you were also in the, the Army playing bugle, first of all, playing um, taps and reveille and all that stuff for, what, a couple weeks for that. And then you... Was it a couple week tour that you did that, or was that for quite a while? I was there about six months. Okay. So I wrote, there was a five or six trumpet players and you rotated. Okay. And, and, uh, and then you, you were did in, it a week at a time. And then you were in the um, West Point band, right? Not yet. Okay, later. When I got out of the Army, I hitchhiked home. And I decided I didn't feel like spending money in a motel when I got let out uh, about 11 p.m. in Ogden, Utah. So I went to the police station and told them I didn't have enough money for a motel. And so I didn't okay, know, I'm, I was gonna have to empty my pocket. Okay, I'm gonna redirect you here, Dad. Why? So what advice can you give people about being a musician and your passion for being a musician? And well, if you, if you have to, sleep in a police station. <laughs> I didn't know I'd have to empty my pockets and here's a, a packet uh, with uh, money orders and things in there that I bought to protect my money. So the police officer did say anything and he gave me a blanket to sleep in a jail cell that night. Oh my gosh. So then I, I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd uh, gotten to Ogden, Utah in, in a hay truck. Okay, but not so many details. We don't have people have a short attention span. That we'll give you more videos where you can listen to more detail about wonderful history, actually. Well, I choked at that time, and he, the driver, warned me if you throw the cigarette out not far enough, and the hay in this truck gets lit, that's going to cost you lots of money. Okay, so <laughs> what advice can you give musicians? <laughs> Don't smoke at all if you can help it. <laughs> I, you know how I... It did I, affect you as a, as a trumpet player, didn't it? 
Smoking. Not really, I don't think so. Oh no? But uh, <laughs> I, I smoke. It's really bad for singers. It's, I, it's like, it's like um, exercising with five pairs of sweatpants on because yeah. it coats the vocal cords. I had a two pack a day habit and I smoked for about 35 years. Yeah, but you had some heart attacks too because of it. I had a heart attack. Oh, okay. Only one. <laughs> All right. All right. After later. All right, I gotta go teach him a lesson, but uh, we'll <laughs> we'll go teach we'll, a lesson. We'll resume. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. How long is the lesson? Half an hour.